Hey everyone, welcome to a special edition of Team LA Talk. As we know, the 2022 World Cup in Qatar is two months away. And for this episode, I'll be giving you helpful advice regarding accommodation and travel because my main goal is to help you get to Qatar to support Team Meli, the national team of Iran. Okay, at this point, if you have tickets to any of Iran's World Cup matches, you are in good shape. But if you don't have accommodation right now, don't worry. That's why I'm here to help. Let's take a look at Iran's schedule at the 2022 World Cup. The 21st of November, Iran will play England. The 25th of November, Iran will play Wales. And the 29th of November, Iran will play the United States. Next, I recommend you book your accommodation through FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 Accommodation Agency. Go to www.qatar2022.qa and click Book Accommodation. Make sure to log in with your FIFA account and provide your ticket application number. I don't know about you, but I think a memorable World Cup experience is the best way to do things. So why not try a fan village and be surrounded by hardcore football fans? But when you're on this page, make sure you are patient and scroll to the bottom of the page and click View All Options. If you have tickets to see Iran versus England, fan village cabins are available at Raudat Al Jahania in the Al Rayyan municipality from November 19th to November 22nd or from November 20th to November 22nd. The price is $207 a night. Rooms are also available at Fan Village Cabins Free Zone and Fan Village Cabins Zafaran. Both of these are located in Doha. Next, some new accommodation is available and it looks pretty awesome. It is called Fan Village Caravan City. Prices for this accommodation range from $200 to $1,000 a night. The basic room is called Caravan Type B, which is $198.12 a night. For the best type of room, you will want Caravan X, which runs $984.13 a night. There are plenty of options available if you are planning to watch Iran versus England or Iran versus the United States. But if you are only planning to see Iran versus Wales, the only option right now at Caravan City is Caravan X. We've got more. Let's take a look at Fan Village Al Khor. Now this is awesome. This is the kind of place I would love to stay at. If you only have tickets to a few games, I am sure the on-site fan zone will be an awesome experience. You've got two options, a deluxe king tent for $423 a night or a premium tent for $700 a night. Yes, a little pricey, but come on, it's the World Cup and a luxury tent sounds pretty fun to me. If you are going to the World Cup on a budget, you can get a room for as little as $100 a night at Barwa Barahat Al Janub, which is on the outskirts of Al Wakra city. Rooms are still available at sectors O and J, but these will appeal to you only if you plan to watch Iran versus England. If you don't have problems sharing a room with other football fans, go to Airbnb and you can get a place to sleep for as little as $90 a night. I won't lie, those bunk beds look comfortable. Okay, I don't care what anyone says. Staying in a cruise ship would be the best way to remember the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. There are still rooms available on the MSC World Europa. Check out what this cruise ship has. Just look at it. Seriously. For $638 a night, you can get a room with a balcony and a breakfast buffet, three guests maximum. Or you can pay $347 a night with a breakfast buffet, no view, but enough room for two people. The rooms and prices I just showed you are available from the 19th of November or the 20th of November till the 22nd of November. There are plenty of rooms available for the entire first round at the MSC World Europa. The prices will be higher, but you can get full board, meaning it includes all three meals, including certain refreshments. Next, let's check out the MSC Poesia. There is plenty to do on this cruise ship as well, whether it's sitting or eating by the pool to relax. Either way, it looks awesome. For $448 a night, you can get a room with a balcony view and a breakfast buffet. Do you want a better room with more perks? Well, it's gonna cost you. Okay, by this point, I have shown you a decent number of options. And there are still also apartments, villas, holiday homes, and hotels. Many people say it is hard to find accommodation if you have tickets to watch Iran versus Wales. Not entirely true. Hotels are available and apartments are available. 
but I suggest to travel in groups of three or four, split the cost, and you are good to go. Also, new types of accommodation are always popping up on this website, so don't panic if you haven't booked accommodation yet. If you haven't booked your accommodation yet, you obviously haven't arranged for an airplane ticket yet. Depending on where you are flying from, you can get a non-stop flight to Doha for a premium price, and I'm talking in the range of probably $2,000 to $2,500 round trip. But if you are looking to save a little money, go with Google Flights. You may have a stop or two, but do what you have to do to watch Iran play at the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. And to finish off this special edition of Team LA Talk, don't forget that once you've bought your tickets and you have booked your accommodation, you must apply for a Haya card. This is what you will need to enter Qatar, use public transportation for free, and most importantly, enter the stadiums. Thank you for your time. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification button. See you on the next edition of Team Melly Talk.